Tony, it's been a, a long journey from fight one to fight two in the UFC. It's a lot to get through this past year. I wonder what it's been like for you emotionally just kind of getting to this point. Uh, it's just been, man, I've just been waiting to get back in there. I think even before, you know, my fight where I, my knee got hurt, I think after the Cyborg fight, they had me laid off for like seven months, and that felt super long. I, I was ready to get back in there right after that fight. I, I had no bruises, no aches or anything. So, um, you know, for me, it's just I just wanted to get back in there and fight in my weight class. Yeah. The recovery process, how difficult was it for you? I know knee injuries can be, can be tough to come back from at times. Uh, it was definitely an injury. Um, <laughs> I feel like I've had a lot of injuries, but nothing ever like that where I couldn't fight and couldn't figure out a way to way around it to fight. So it was uh, it was definitely heartbreaking. But um, you know, it was a long long recovery and stuff like that. I, I feel like I worked hard to, to get it back and stuff, and uh, you know, it feels good as new. Very nice. And then, of course, you're booked, and you get a fight kind of taken away from you. I just wonder, I mean, at that point, do you start thinking, is the world conspiring against me, or what the hell's going on here? Yeah, it's weird. I uh, I didn't realize that I had two cancel bouts, and I looked at my record, and I was like, two cancel Like, holy shit, that sucks. Like, I should have fought, like, three times already. It's crazy. But, um, you know, it, it is what it is. I think uh, timing is, is right, and I'm right where I'm supposed to be. I mean, you're a veteran of the sport, but I do wonder, was there any time where you, where you got kind of down or a little bit? You're like, you know, what's what was me, so to speak? Uh, just more like, am I ever going to work? I'm going to go broke? That's kind of down, yeah. But aside from that, nah. We'll talk about the matchup here. They put you against uh, the young buck. You know, what, what did you think? When, when this was the fight that came together, were you excited about it? Or is it tough to get up for a relative newcomer? You know, I, I, I know when the my fight got canceled, me and my coach were going through the rankings and trying to figure out what girls could possibly be my opponent and who they could possibly call. And we were throwing names out because I, I don't really care who I fight. Um, you know, I was surprised that she took it, but I obviously think her motivation was this card, being on this card. So I, I don't care if I fight on the smallest card of the year. I don't care. I get paid the same. So. Um, you know, I, I definitely think it was a, a step up, and, and we're going to see why that is. So for you, I did wonder, I mean, this platform, this card, I mean, is it does it add any excitement to you at all, or is it really like, I, I just want to fight and get paid? Yeah, I mean, I'm not Khabib or, or Connor getting the money off the tickets sold and all that stuff. I don't get no points, so, you know, the size of the show really doesn't matter. But, um, you know, it's nice to, to be on big cards, obviously, be on the UFC cards and stuff like that, so... It's always good. Talk about the matchup itself. I mean, this is kind of this next generation, I guess. I mean, you're you're a pioneer of the sport. Now these these young girls are coming up. What, what do you think about her skills? I mean, when you, when you when you break it down, anything new, anything special that you haven't seen before? No, I I feel like a lot of these girls have come up and they got MMA coaches. Um, so they I feel like they miss a lot of the roots of of every aspect of the game. And you know, obviously, I came up and we didn't have MMA coaches, so I had to learn everything separate and kind of figure out where I fit in and where my style kind of works and, and I I feel like I'm comfortable with the way I fight and comfortable in my style and I, I figured it out so I think that's what makes me so good and, and a lot of these girls are just repetition of what they've seen and this and that but they don't have nothing to fall back on when I break their will so I think that's what you're going to see. Nice. This is ultimately just about working and getting a paycheck but is, is there kind of any emotional attachment to getting a UFC win? I mean does that seem like a, a special career accomplishment or a moment that you you know yearn for? Yeah I feel like everybody else feels like that more than me. I, everybody's like you gotta just fight in the UFC one time just to say you're UFC fighter. I'm not that person. That, I'm just not that person. I, um, I just want to be the best you know whatever route I have to take I don't I don't get the favorite favoritism and, and get pulled up here and get all the special treatment and all the promotion and all that stuff I don't get any of that so for me it's just um, beating people you know winning fights you mentioned breaking her will so lay it out I mean when you see this thing in, in your head how does this go uh, I think I see it the same as all my fights me beating the shit out of somebody until they give up